Okay, so we've overclocked our card. We've used MSI Afterburner to uh, find our sweet spot. Now, you may want to flash your card. If you want to flash your card, that means that your settings will stick every boot up. You won't have to keep playing about. So to flash your card, you need a few tools. You need a program called NV Flash. And you can also get the version that works in Windows, which is easier. The other version you can get, you have to actually boot up to the command prompt, not in Windows, and flash from there, uh, uh, flash from DOS. I prefer to use the one that works in Windows. You need another tool, which is called Nibitor. I've got version 6.06. .06. It's Nibitor. We need another program, what's called the Fermi Calculator. Okay, Fermi Calculator. You can um, Google that. So what you do is you quite simply... Oh, you need another tool as well, sorry. You need GPU-Z. Right, start by going to your GPU-Z. Click this little button here. It'll say save to file. Click it. Give your BIOS a name and save it to somewhere you know safe. Now <coughs> go to your Fermi BIOS calculator, put your shader score in that box. Mine's 1800. Put your memory score in that box. Mine's 2250. Go down here and select your GPU. Mine's GTX 560 Ti. And this tells you the scores that you need to enter into your BIOS and the positions they need to be entered. You go over to Nibitor, open BIOS. Now, wherever you saved your BIOS file to, load it up. I saved mine here. It's loaded up. Okay, you must have, it's very important, the green integrity light there. You must have that. Now, go up to the top. There's two things you've got to do. One's Fermi clocks. Enter into number 15 the information what's in the Fermi calculator. So you can see there, I've got, it's 15, I've got 3, 4, 5, and 11 to enter these ones here. You enter those, 3, there you go, they're entered in here, 3, 4, 5, and 11. I've already entered them there. So then you go and apply, go up to top again, go to Fermi Voltage, and you get the voltages, okay? Now go down here to setting 2. That's your limit up there. You can turn that up or down. Put the voltage you want into setting 2. I want 1.025, okay? Once you've done that, you click apply again. You go up there. You save your BIOS. Save it to somewhere safe. Right, once you've done all that, and what you need to do is come down here to your DOS prompt, command prompt, find the directory what NV flash you stored NV flash to. Also copy your BIOS to that same directory. And then type in, I don't know if you can see it, NV flash your BIOS name dot rom, whatever your BIOS is called, and then dash four dash five dash six mv flash your bios name dot rom dash four dash five dash six with spaces in between that will then flash your bios and restart your computer and you're all done bios flashed no more software to mess about with great job